We want to take a look at some of what's trending on social media. So let's bring in our web guru, Tony Keith, and we're celebrating Colorado's birthday today, Tony. That's right. And you guys are helping. We're asking you guys to share your colorful, color, colorful Colorado pictures. Why is that so hard to say? I don't know. On Facebook. And how could you not love our state? Ooh. Take a look at some of these pics we're getting into the newsroom. Absolutely love it. We got a new way you can share your photos. I've got the full gallery on our website, kktv.com. Wow. You just click it there. Check out the gorgeous pictures and submit your own. I got a few more that we want to share before we get to the next story. But I mean, check these out. We've got uh, dozens of photos already. Just posted this. Don, you took that one. That, that and, last uh, Pike Speak one was mine, yeah. Again, absolutely love those photos. Keep them coming, guys, and happy birthday, Colorado. Yay. Well, the Colorado Springs Pioneers Museum, they're also celebrating Colorado's birthday for Throwback Thursday. Love this photo. It's Philip Loomis Jr.'s fourth birthday picture of the year 1876. Oh, wow. Yeah, just a little <laughs> guy enjoying some cake. For my one-year birthday party for my son, uh, I took 250 photos. My wife took 400. <laughs> Back then, it was like one and done. You just cross your fingers and hope it's good. So, yeah, uh, and usually it wasn't, but that, that one's beautiful. That's just so great. Great throwback mm -hmm. Thursday. Yeah. And uh, this last video, I'm going to get posted to Facebook as soon as I'm done with this. Knock, knock, Don. Who's there? Oh, gosh. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> uh, nightmares for the next month. Uh, William shared this video with us. He lives off of Highway 115. This makes me want to get a surveillance video for my doorbell just oh, yeah. to check before I leave my house. But this was at three in the morning. Uh, that kind of visitor, it's just one of those, you know, now, I, now I'm wondering, you know, who's outside my door at three in the morning? You know, that video accidentally popped up before this segment. Yes, I, that was. And I didn't, I didn't know what it was because I could barely see it out of the corner of my eye. Now that I see it, well, that is kind of creepy, but it's kind of cool at the same time. Yeah, but I love those surveillance videos. It catch yeah. some weird stuff yeah. and uh, keep them coming our yeah. way again. Uh, Why not? Show us your stuff. I love sharing it with the masses. No doubt. Brian, what's your favorite? spot in Colorado. My know. favorite spot, I, I love Devil's Thumb uh, yeah. up near uh, Granby and oh, yeah. uh, that was one of my favorite places as well. Also out on the plains, that's where I grew up. That's where you know, grew so. up, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Some mm -hmm. folks think it's desolate, I kind of think it's pretty, but oh, yeah. uh, anyway, each to their own. And our weather around here, gonna have a little bit of something for everybody too. Some rain chances in there too for some of us for tonight. In fact, pretty good storm moving through Palmer Lake right now. Getting ready to pass just to the north of Monia. If you're traveling north on I-25, that rain's gonna slow you down if you're making your way up through the gap. Take a look at what's trending on social media. So let's welcome in our web guru, Tony Keith. And you're starting with a great story between two strangers. Love this story. A feel good story that's gonna raise your spirits for the next month, maybe even the next year. A young man named Cooper, just six years old, noticed an airman in a Colorado Springs donut shop. He turned to his mom with excitement, wanted to buy his donut for him, and that's just the first part. The second, the airman, Tim Galloway, took out his last gold Iraqi challenge coin. For those of you who don't know, those coins are priceless, a coin that proves you served on a tour of duty. Cooper's mom's message to the public, pay it forward. He gave him his coin, Wow. and Galloway's been carrying that coin around for more than a decade, so absolutely wow. love this story. I mean. Come on, pay it forward, mm. folks. This is a one that I'm going to get up online and uh, hoping to spread that message. And a, a lesson from a six-year-old. Do something <laughs> nice for somebody. You never know what might happen as a result. Exactly. Beautiful. Well, hey, the Broncos, they're trending in Colorado mm -hmm. today, especially this catch by CU grad Jawan Winfrey. CU grad right next to me. We got uh -huh. Don Ward. Uh -huh. Preseason doesn't really matter, so score, throw it out the window. But I did ask you guys to give the Broncos a grade on Facebook. More than 100 of you responded. Overall consensus, a passing grade, but not an A. I skimmed through the comments. A lot of C's. Mm. But guys, we still got a lot of preseason left and uh, folks fighting for their job. I, I'm a little more excited for the season after that catch, Don. Yeah, I, yeah. The preseason game I kind of checked out of until yeah. that catch. Yeah. And then I was like, let's go Broncos. By the way, you just summed up my career at CU. A passing grade, but no A. Hey, you know, see where <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Well, last thing that's trending, Oscar Mayer, they're getting into the ice cream business. I, I wish this was a joke, it's not. You're looking at the <laughs> ice dog sandwich. Mm. It includes a spicy Dijon gelato. Gross. I say no, no, and uh, double no on this. What about you, Don? I'm that's, out. Yeah, yeah that's, I'm, I'm that's, with you. Uh, but you know what? To each his own. Maybe someone will like that. Gonna have to give it a try. Uh, our producer's Producer in my ear Mark saying is for he's it. all for it. Okay. He, he brought it up last night. He was genuinely excited for that. Well, if somebody brings it into the newsroom, Mark, it's all yours. Uh, okay. No go. M <laughs> mustard ice cream, Brian? Was there a hot dog in that? Yes, there's pieces of there's hot dog. Chunks in that. of hot dogs. <laughs> So, okay, uh, well, right. whatever. <laughs> Fair's coming up pretty soon, so that's you true. Know, maybe fry it. Down at the just fair. fry yeah, it. Just fry it. Fry everything. Fry my shoe and eat it. It doesn't matter. Uh, around here, our weather pattern has been fairly active over the past couple of days. I'm pretty active right now in Pueblo. We've got a flash flood warning for the east side of town until 